it's Tony and Kate, and we've had this house now for over 20 years. Uh, when we bought the house 20 years ago, it was run down, it was had a back porch falling over it uh, in the rear, and we renovated it about 15 years uh, ago, and it improved a little bit as a single level house, and now we've done this renovation. Having two daughters, we needed um, a couple of different living areas, so, um, and I needed a living area as well. So, I've um, got my little room up the front of the house, and the girls have got it upstairs, and then Kate's got this massive area over here. So, <laughs> so she's um, living the dream, I guess. Oh, we were looking for someone who shared our vision and could work with us on the project, give us advice and from their experience, because we aren't builders, we aren't in the trade, and we had lots of ideas, but we were looking for someone to help us put it all together. Well, I guess the guys, um, Andrew um, came over, we met him a couple of times, and he seemed to be um, understanding what he was doing, and um, I rang up a few of his um, past, past clients, and they were very happy with Andrew, so I guess it just came down to gut, I guess. It was a good gut feeling, good mix of where we wanted to take the house and, um, you know, had that can-do attitude, I think, you know. So, it was, yeah, look, we, we gelled straight away, so it was quite good. So, we sat down, Andrew visited the house, went through how we felt about what we wanted to do, our vision. He spent a lot of time with us and he really did listen to us, which was good because we'd had some other people through to quote who were very much saying what they thought we should do. Um, but Andrew stopped first and heard what we wanted to do and then helped us put it all together. So it was a really good meeting and as Tony said, we had a really good feeling uh, about what we were going to venture into. Yeah, I guess being the guys, you know, being hands on as they are, um, they could listen to us, they're not in offices, they're out on the job all the time, so I guess it was, um, for us, it was, you know, they're hands on, I guess, and that's really what it came down to, the guys being on site all the time, listening to what we wanted, um, and they could create, help us create that dream that we wanted. So. so, when we started the project with Q, we already had our plans finalised with a draftsman who had sat down with us and planned how we wanted everything laid out. But when we started with Cube the building, we worked really closely with Andrew and Marcus and things changed of course throughout the process and both of them were amazing at giving suggestions and being really open and honest with us because I know they had a lot more experience than we did and knew what the final outcome would look like. Mm. And they were always really keen to make sure that we were happy. So that was always their number one priority, which was really good as owners. Uh, the main thing would be the fact that we could actually talk through our ideas a lot more with Andrew at the beginning and feel really open to have that conversation. I think a lot of companies, the ones we've contacted, are very much, this is how we do it, this is how you lay out your book. Yeah, definitely. We wanted to keep the period features of the home and keep it all in flow. We didn't want any box element on the back of the house, so it was always our number one priority to keep everything within the period. Yeah, look, they were great. Um, all the trades were great. From, uh, from Bill the plumber, he was a good fella. Um, to Michael, the cabinet maker, he, he was um, fantastic. Um, he was just amazing, Michael. Um, and the guys, you know, working for Cube, they've always been pretty friendly. Every time we, we rolled up on site, they were always friendly. And, willing to give us a hand or, you know, that was really good. Oh look, they're all fantastic. Um, probably, the Michael would have been amazing, the cabinet maker. He was just great, he just quietly listened to everything that we suggested and said what we wanted in our cabinetry, especially in the kitchen. And he'd go away and the next time you'd come along, you would be another bit of the jigsaw puzzle, so that was fantastic. <laughs> It took about a year, or just under a year, and yeah, it was all fine, it's what we expected, so it was great. So 
So our house ended up finishing within a budget. Obviously we spent a little bit more than we're expecting, but there was a lot of things we did while the builders were here and throughout the whole time Andrew and Marcus were great in communicating that and making sure we were across how much everything was going to cost, any variations, and getting the best deal for us really. So while the tradesmen were here, we could get jobs done. Absolutely, there's no doubt about that. About that. Um, Marcus and Andrew are uh, great um, guys to be around and um, with his, their team around them, um, it's been a great job and we um, would highly recommend Andrew and, um, and Marcus and the Q team anytime. Definitely the kitchen is what we love most, well what I love most about the house. Um, and the butler's pantry as well. But we also, I think having the upstairs area for our two daughters will be fantastic in the years to come. No, I think it's, it's just been, um, been an easy process. It's been pretty hassle free. You hear a lot of people doing build jobs and it turns into a nightmare. And um, I'll tell you what, we could do this every year. This is easy. <laughs> so, you know, Maybe in 10 years. Um, but yeah, no, it's been it's been an easy process. So it's been easy for us. So um, running our own business, so you know um, we might be overseas or interstate or working all the time. You haven't the time to worry about tradies and all that turning up. And Andrew and uh, Marcus had to worry about all that sort of stuff, and they've achieved a, a wonderful job. So I'll take me out off to them. Mm.